All right, all you Mets fans out there. That's right. It's the end of the season. And now it's time to start talking about what we would change. Uh, we finished the season uh, 77 and 85. Didn't quite get to 500, but you know, anything close was victory this year. We knew that going in. Uh, and this is the time of the season where we get to think about what we want to do next year. Uh, we got some money to spend. I know that uh, Terry Collins said uh, he wasn't doing much, and Sandy Alderson said they weren't doing much last season, and that we were just going to have to grin and bear it with what we had. We knew that, so now we've got some things to look at. <clears throat> I got a list of things I want to talk about. Number one, uh, what do we want to do with Reyes? Uh, he took himself out in the last game uh, after his first at-bat, uh, bunting, and uh, he was doing that to protect his, uh, his batting title. I don't know. It kind of just reminded me, like, oh, yeah, that's why I don't like this guy. Uh, do we want to keep him, or do we want to go after better pitching? Uh, you know, just kind of the things we, we want to look at. Uh, if he's asking for extraordinary numbers personally, I don't think we should pay him. Um, some people argue, well, he could go to the Phillies, or he could go to another, you know, rival team. If, uh, if a team like the Phillies is willing to pay that amount of money for Jose Reyes, I say, good, do it. Because you know what? He's not going to play an entire season for you. He's just not. He's going to play two, maybe three solid months at best, and then he's going to be hurt with the whole you know, BS about his thyroid or his ankle or his quad or his calf or his, his hamstring or some shit like that, and uh, this guy isn't going to play a full season for you. Uh, he's made of glass, and uh, he's not very durable. If you want to pay that kind of money, great. I think that takes away some of your, uh, you know, your revenue to put on other things. In fact, I almost invite him to go to the team like the Phillies because now the Phillies can't uh, focus on other things that they need. They think they're getting something great, but they're really not. Go ahead, take them. The only way Jose Reyes should come back is if he decides to say, you know what, I didn't have that great of a season. I may have gotten the batting title, but I'm a little, you know, mm. and uh, I need to really, I owe something to the New York fans because he does. He owes something. Uh, this man hasn't played a full season since he's gotten there. I, I really don't think he's played a full season. I mean, you know, even in the 2006 season, well, in the 2006 season, I think he played a full season. But other than that, it just we haven't seen him rise to form since. Um, every single year. He probably owes us money if we, we broke it down and prorated his salary. He would owe us $20 million, maybe more. So I don't think we should retain him unless he, you know, goes, uh, he, he just doesn't ask for an exorbitant amount of money. Uh, second thing is uh, they're moving the fences in. They're moving the fences in. They're finally caving in. Uh, what it looks like is we're going to have right center move to about four uh, from 415 to about somewhere in 390, 392, somewhere around that range. And left field, uh, that huge wall that they have in left field, that's going to move down and in. They're going to put some more seats in there. Uh, I think that is the final straw for people like David Wright and uh, Jason Bay. I mean, if you can't hit a home runs and they're moving the friggin' dimensions of the field in for just those type of power hitters, get those power numbers up. If they can't do that, then we need to look at next year. What, what are we going to do with those people? You know, what are we going to do with them? Are we going to take them and, and kind of chuck them to the side and try to look for somebody else? Because you know what? Uh, the, the core... The core of Mets players uh, doesn't exist anymore, uh, to me. I, it just there is no core. There is no Jose Reyes, David Wright. You know, Beltran's obviously gone. Delgado's gone. Um, all those guys. Uh, th there's nothing left. We need to start, you know, building something. We need to start fresh. Um, those guys need to either, you know, put up or shut up in my mind. And with these alterations to the field, what are you gonna say? What are you gonna say now? Oh, my back is hurting. You know, David Wright with his, you know, 80-year-old back. Or, you know, Jason Bay. Oh, I'm Canadian. No offense to any Canadians out there. But, I mean, what else? What other excuse does he have? You know, uh, that's something we need to look at. Uh, also, Daniel Murphy. He's got a great bat. But we don't have a position for him. <laughs> the Irish Hammer. This guy, it was fifth in the league uh, in batting. And we can't find a position on the field for him. What are we going to do with that? Uh... That guy needs to have a spot, uh, whether it's first base or you know second base or utility. We need to have him out there producing, because other people just aren't. The hell with it, you know. I mean, I don't want to go to this extreme. I don't think we need to. I mean, but you know, days David Wright just isn't producing. Put Daniel Murphy in. Go ahead, scare him. Say, you know what? You don't want to hit in the clutch. I know a guy that will, and his name's Daniel Murphy. See what happens. I don't know. What else is there to lose? What else is there to lose? We already finished behind the friggin' Nationals, and Atlanta. And Philly. But getting to how Atlanta finished. One of the biggest chokes in all of baseball. 
along with Boston. Thank you, you two guys. That was great because now the heat has been somewhat lifted. We don't have to worry about that seven and a half game lead that we blew, you know, and that we choked last game twice. You know, two of those teams <laughs> kind of did it for us. I mean, Boston had an awful start to the year, if you guys remember. They were like, oh, at 12. And then they just kind of, you know, went on a hot streak and they just couldn't lose. And then at the last, <laughs> the last month, they just threw it away. They were up, what, eight and a half, nine games or something like that. And they just right down the tubes. And so did Atlanta. So, uh, you know, thank you so much for giving us something not to, you know, want to hang ourselves over anymore. At least now that belongs to somebody else. You know, that title belongs to you guys. You know, bravo, bravo. The curse of the Bambino continues. And Atlanta, well, you know, I mean, you just suck. Uh, Terry Collins got an extension to his contract. I think that's great. I think the team responds to him. You know, they were responding to him all this year until they realized, oh, there's no way we can win. So, you know, what are you going to do? But I, I think he's good for the team. I think he does uh, a lot of positive things for the team. I think they respect him. I think they, they respond to him, like I just said. Um, and keeping him around is a smart thing. So nothing wrong with that. And uh, Ike Davis, you know, I like the guy. I really do. I love Ike. But, you know, with this ankle injury, we're kind of wondering when, when he's going to be back. Do we want to do want to kind of, I don't know, abandon chip on him? Or what do we want to do? I, I kind of hope he, he, he gets his act together and that he's good for next season and he's producing. But, uh, you know, at this point, I, I just don't know. I, 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 need a, I need a season. I need something to be excited about. You know, I can't keep going and, and like, ah, here goes another one. We need something. We should have had it in 06, period. We should have had it in 06. You know, the fact that we didn't get the World Series in 06 is just, it's, you guys owe us something. I mean, we followed you that whole season and then to have it end on, the Wainwright curveball was just pathetic. I don't know. Uh, kind of looking forward to uh, seeing what moves the Mets make in the off season. You know, hoping next year will be a much better season. Uh, they did give us something to work with in the earlier half of the summer, but then you know, as time went on, things just fell apart. And uh, you know, that that that's that's what you expect. Good teams don't fall apart after the All Star break, and our team did. But we saw that coming. But now is the time. You know, now is the time where we make those cuts where we you know, make those changes, where we get guys in place, where we hire people, we bring pitching on, and, and we're going to fix all these problems because we have the time, the money, the resources, and we got the people in place to do that now. And we know what the problems are. So it just needs to happen. It really does just need to happen. No more excuses. No more slogans. No more BS. Now's the time. Okay? Now's the freaking time. It's only been six years. So let's get it together. All right? Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. If you guys have anything else you want to say about the Mets, please let me know. Uh, or you have any other topics you think we should cover. Um, looking forward to a good season next year. Uh, let's see. Playoff predictions. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking the Rays are taking it this year. It's going to be the Rays. It's going to be the Phillies in the World Series, and the Rays are going to take it. Check it. That's what I think. All right. Take it easy, YouTube.